welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about massage and giving your animals, your dogs or your cat, a massage. The benefits of it, why you should be doing it, and the techniques so that you can do it. It's something really easy that I think is important to incorporate in your routine and is beneficial for both you and your animal. In my previous video about cats and how they can experience separation anxiety, how to notice it and what you can do about it, one of the tools that I mentioned is giving your cat a massage. Massage is a great way to reduce stress in your cat or your dog. A gentle massage can reduce stress and anxiety when done on a regular basis. So massaging your animal isn't something that you just do once and expect to see results or the benefits from it. It's something that you have to do consistently on a regular basis. Massage also increases circulation, it decreases pain, and strengthens the bond that you and your animal have together. So it is really good to build your relationship and trust between you and your animal. Doing massage regularly can also help you notice any abnormal growths or any skin conditions at an early stage because you are often touching your animal and checking them out as you massage them. When it comes to cats, some cats love to be touched all over and some don't like it at all and prefer to keep their distance. This can make massage a little more difficult for those animals that don't really enjoy being touched, but the more often you do it and if you do it in a way that respects the animal and you listen to when the animal has had enough, over time you will gradually be able to massage them more and they will realize that they really do enjoy being touched and massaged, being petted, and they will come asking you for these kinds of treatments. All animals, even the ones that are less confident, a little more shy, don't like being touched, can benefit from massage. Overall, cats and dogs really enjoy the same benefits of massage that we humans do. It's relaxing, it feels good, it releases tension, reduces stress. When you give your animal a massage, you are also receiving benefits. Your stress is reduced, you're able to relax. It's really meditative. Massage can also reduce the effects of trauma that your animal has experienced. There are physical benefits. Massage helps the lymphatic system. This system is responsible for removing toxins in the body. Regular massage will activate this system and help blockages pass through and toxins pass through the body and reduce inflammation as well. So before you attempt to massage your dog or your cat, you need the trust of that animal. The animal needs to trust you. Slowly introduce massage into your daily routine and keep it really short at first, especially if your animal doesn't trust you or doesn't usually like being touched all that much. When you slowly introduce massage, you build trust with your animal, your bond grows, and this helps your animal feel safe. When your animal is used to massage and you massage your animal regularly, you can use this tool during more stressful situations or loud noises like firework or thunder thunderstorms, if your animal is anxious in those situations, they can really relax from a massage if they are used to having a massage. Massage is also helpful for arthritis. Gentle rubbing and kneading can increase circulation to sore muscles and joints. Gentle pressure does cause tissues to contract, which will increase blood flow. Massage is also good for athletic dogs. It's something that you can do before a big workout, a big hike, or a competition or hurting. You can think of it as a pre-workout warm-up to stimulate circulation, increase blood supply to joints and muscles and nerves, which will help prevent any injury and soreness after exercising. Massage is also good for after exercising, so not only before but after as well, especially for older dogs or any dogs that have overexerted themselves or that may be a little out of shape to help them reduce soreness after exercising. So for both cats and dogs, you want to massage them in a place that is calm, quiet, where they already naturally tend to relax, and you want to start in 
touching your animal in areas where they already feel comfortable being touched. You don't want to place too much pressure on your animal or press too firmly or too hard. Be soft and gentle, especially in the beginning. Watch how your animal reacts and stop if they flinch, if they appear sore. If they move away, nip or growl, you definitely want to stop and try again later or another day. You want to use flat palms on your animal's body and apply light pressure on their skin with your palms flat and move your hands slowly in long sweeping movements. You can also use repetitive circular motions. These circular motions really help stimulate blood flow and increase oxygen supply to the body. You usually want to start from the head and the neck and move your way down the body, gently increasing pressure if it seems like your animal is enjoying it. Never press straight down on joints or on bones. One area that is great to do is your animal's neck. So instead of using a palm on the neck, Bring your thumb and forefinger together and progress downward with a circular motion and massage along the outline of their shoulder blades. For cats, start by scratching them under the chin. Most cats really enjoy this. And move to other parts of their head, maybe around their ears, just to get them used to being massaged and touched in this way. The base of the skull can be really relaxing for cats. After a face and head massage, move down to the tailbone. Cats also tend to really enjoy being petted by the tailbone. You can apply a little more pressure here than in other areas. The base of the tail is a favorite spot of cats to be touched. With cats over time, start to slowly increase areas that your cat typically doesn't like to be touched. So first start with the areas where you know they don't mind being touched and slowly move to areas where they feel a little more vulnerable and remember to stop and respect them when they tell you that they've had enough. Over time, you can slowly start to incorporate the areas where your cat does feel more vulnerable. These areas are typically the stomach, the belly, the paws, and with some cats, you may never be able to pet them there. Be patient and go with what your cat lets you do. Don't push them too hard or force anything on them. You can experiment with different areas and different massaging techniques to see what your animal does enjoy. Know when to take a break by paying attention to when your animal appears uncomfortable or tries to move away. Over time, they will enjoy a massage for longer periods of time. At first, it might just be a few seconds up to one minute. Establishing trust in this way does take time, so be patient with dogs and cats. If they seem tense or uncomfortable, stop and give them the freedom to move away. Over time, they will actually come to you seeking out a massage. They may move their body or twist in positions so you massage areas of them that they want you to massage. They know their body best and they know that you are trying to help them and when you let them move at their own pace, they are more willing to give you the freedom to massage them in a way that is fun and comfortable for both of you. It should be a really relaxing, calming experience for both you and your animal. If you are feeling stressed or uncomfortable or it's not feeling like a fun, relaxing, calming experience, then your animal isn't enjoying it either. I hope this video was helpful and you have some really great ideas about how you can incorporate massage into a daily routine. It's a really fun way to grow your relationship, build trust and bond with your animal, get to know your animal's personality on a different level, and there are so many health benefits from regular massage. It can also be really meditative. I will be doing another video on meditating with your animal why it's important and the benefits that your animal can receive from that. It's really similar to massage because massage can be such a meditative activity. It, they are both so relaxing and they're great ways to reduce stress and anxiety in both you and your animal, especially when you do it together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.
Pets are more than just animals. They are spiritual beings with unique personalities and energies. Do you love your dog and want to live in harmony with your dog while understanding their needs and emotions? Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by your dog's behavior, improve your relationship with your dog and help them heal from any physical, mental, or emotional issues. I offer a unique combination of positive reinforcement training methods with energy healing techniques, animal communication, and tarot. Receive a personalized action plan created by a certified dog trainer and animal communicator. This package is perfect for anyone who wants to enhance and enchant their life with their dog. Don't miss this opportunity to get this amazing package. Apply now and get ready to create a magical relationship with your dog.